how many Muslims are out there who reject what we deem to be very clearly established things from the religion, yet we don't make takfir of them even after debating them and showing them proofs. So that's kind of where Ibn Taymiyyah is coming from, even when it comes to this subject of, of, of you know, unknowingly engaging in actions of major shirk. Now, as for Ibn Abdul Wahhab, you know, it appears, wallahu alam, that what truly mattered uh, when it came to the specific issue is, was whether the evidence was presented, was provided clearly or not, uh, full stop. And so if the person rejected the evidence, takfir would apply. So even though Ibn Abdul Wahhab did believe in excusing people for their ignorance, even in the matters of shirk, he did not go as far as Ibn Taymiyyah uh, in terms of how he extended uh, that excuse to people. So uh, that's the first difference between Ibn Taymiyyah and Ibn Abdul Wahhab. They differed on how far they were each willing to go in terms of extending the excuse of ignorance to those who committed major shirk. However, however, out of fairness, uh, out of fairness um, it must be pointed out that some have argued that it's difficult to compare and contrast between Ibn Taymiyyah and Ibn, Abd Ibn uh, Abdul Wahhab uh, uh, you know, on this issue because uh, Ibn Taymiyyah, they argue, was speaking in generalities as a jurist and theologian as opposed to speaking in the capacity of somebody with authority, you know, such as a judge who could issue rulings of takfir on individual people, while Ibn Abdul Wahhab, on the other hand, had power and authority. Um, some tr have tried to counter this by saying that uh, uh, you know, Ibn Taymiyyah um, didn't seek to have al-Bakri killed when al-Bakri got in trouble with the authorities, but, but that's not a very convincing argument since al-Bakri was wanted by the authorities for an unrelated issue. And it wouldn't have been just for Ibn Taymiyyah to seek his killing for something he wasn't formally um, uh, arrested or wanted by the authorities for. Um, so these are just some points to consider as this is an ongoing in-house ethery debate. Um, a second uh, possible difference between Ibn Taymiyyah and Ibn Abdul Wahhab 